Hey guys, welcome back to Startup Central. Today, I've got great news for you. One of the largest and juiciest airdrops of this cycle is going to be Monad. Now, how do you farm Monad? Well, the one way that uh, you got to farm them was to go to their Discord and try to get the role of Monad or Nads, actually. It's really, really hard to get that. I've been participating with them almost every day since December, and I still have not gotten that one. But today, Wormhole posted that um, basically they just wrote Gmonet, which is one way to um, kind of let us know that they are in partnership with Monet. And they also uh, had a, a Twitter spaces with the Monet team. So there is a rumor that if you stake your wormhole, which was recently enabled, then you might be actually getting some of that airdrop. And again, guys, the Mona airdrop is potentially going to be one of the largest airdrops. So in this video, I'm going to, this is going to be a step-by-step -step guide on how to do that because it's not as easy as just going uh, to your wallet and just take in. There are some steps you need to take and I'm going to show you how to do that and hopefully we'll all get some chunk of that super UC airdrop. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, guys, first things first, you will need to have an EVM wallet and a Solana wallet. You need both because uh, if you receive the airdrop from Warhol, you probably have the tokens over there. If you have not received that airdrop, you might want to get some wormhole either from Jupiter or from your centralized exchange. Once you have that, then you will need to transfer those tokens to an EVM wallet. So that's why you need both wallets. Now, don't fret. There is a number of bridges that you can use to do that. And of course, by using those bridges, you can actually qualify for the airdrop for those bridges. So I'm going to show you exactly what you need to do. And to that extent, I'm going to share my browser so we can follow along. So this is Wormhole's tweet where they actually are announcing yesterday, just yesterday, June 6th, where can you stake your W tokens? So that is really cool, guys, because I have been holding my airdrop for a while and the price had not gone up until yesterday when they enabled this. This was crucial for those tokens, the price to go back up. And um, yeah, now that we have it, we can stake. It's again, it's a um, laborious uh, process to get that, but I'm going to get you through that. Uh, the next thing I want to show you is that they posted the salute that Monadians or people in Monad have. And it is this one. So they are teasing that potentially they are going to be participating with Monad on that airdrop. So, and the additional thing you need to know is that they also might do Wormhole, the second season for that airdrop. So this is, I mean, there are a good number of reasons why you want to stake your W tokens. Now, again, if you did not get them on an airdrop, go get them on a centralized exchange or Jupiter. Um, that's a matter for another uh, tutorial, but let's assume that you already have them in your Solana wallet. So a uh, wormhole directs us to this website where you can stake your token and potentially do governance and voting and all that will qualify you for different things. As you know, if you have been doing this on Dimension with that airdrop, you're also getting qualified for different airdrops. If you don't remember about that, I will make an upcoming video about Dimension and the upcoming uh, airdrops tied to that token. But today we're talking about wormhole and um, this is Tally is place where a lot of projects will do governance or are doing governance. So first thing we need to do, as per usual, is connect our wallet. So I'm going to click here and connect our wallet. I'm going to tell them I'm using MetaMask and it's going to open my wallet and tell me to sign, uh, you know, the usual thing. So I'm going to click on sign in and now my wallet is connected. Now, here's the thing. Um, it allows you to stake for governance, but I don't have W seal on my EVM wallet, so I will need to bridge. However, let's explore what's here, what you're telling us in this website. So number one, tokens must be staked to participate on governance. Again, this protocol, especially when they're going through a, a DAO, DAO, they like people to vote in their proposals, just like you would do in Cosmos 
And if you don't uh, know how to get airdrops in Cosmos, I will leave a link for a video on that on the corner of the video. Now, stake for governance only impact, impacts voting power and does not affect token ownership. So you might be able to delegate your tokens to someone else so they can vote for you if that's something you want to do. And then you can restake your tokens at any time. So we're going to click on start. That uh, way we are offered a number of potential, um, I don't know if these are validators potentially, or people that you can delegate your votes to, or you can actually delegate to yourself. If you want to do that, you can click here. I don't know what the benefit uh, is of choosing more people to delegate to. So I'm going to click on I want to delegate to myself. But again, choose what you want. For now, I think there's no incentive to choose someone else. Let's click on continue. And then uh, they are asking us to transfer the tokens from our Solana wallet to our EVM wallet. Now, we already have the, the EVM wallet connected. And so now we have to add our Solana wallet. And actually, we can bridge from here. As you can see, they are actually allowing you to bridge via wormhole, which is cool, guys, because this very fact of using wormhole to bridge tokens, although you can use other protocols like layer zero, that might qualify you for an additional airdrop of wormhole. So let's connect our wallet. I'm going to click on connect your wallet. Uh, I'm going to click backpack because I've been using that one. There might be an airdrop for backpack users. So that's why I'm using it. So I'm now going to be logging in to backpack. And I just connected this wallet. Now I still don't have W tokens in this wallet because I have them staked on Camino and MarginFi. So I'm going to pause the video for a moment. I'm going to withdraw those tokens and then I'm going to send them to this wallet. Okay, this is something interesting in case you have staked your or, or lent your W somewhere else like Camino or MarginFi. Uh, if you transfer them to your wallet, they will not show in this page. So you have to do two things. One, disconnect your wallet and then refresh the page then reconnect your wallet. And then you will see, as you can see, I have my uh, W here. So I'm going to stake basically all of them. And now I need to connect my EVM wallet. Uh, and I don't know why. OK, I'm going to choose the network. Now, there's a number of networks I can choose from. If you choose Ethereum, then the transaction fees, the gas fees will be extremely expensive. And I don't think it's going to be worth uh, the time for you to do that. So we're, we're going to be choosing base. It's cheap. And um, now I can actually transfer them. It's going to ask me to connect my wallet again. I don't know why again. But let's do that. I'm choosing MetaMask and it automatically took the the wallet I had connected over here. Now, um, some me there's a root and then there might be some fees. Um, well, I'm going to be getting the full 2500 W here. Um, there's going to be, of course, a minimum fee in Solana. I'm going to click on approve and proceed with transaction. I'm going to wait a little bit until my wallet opens. Uh, the Solana network is kind of congested right now. And I'm going to click on approve. And now the bridging is going to be taking place. I might need to wait a little bit, although both Solana and Coinbase are rather quick compared to other networks like uh, Ethereum mainnet. I'm going to pause this video while this ends. OK, as you can see, now I'm getting confirmations. When this gets to 32 confirmations, I will be able to check my Ethereum wallet on base to see if the tokens are there. But I mean, I have no had no problem with wormhole. So these tokens might be there in just a minute or so. OK, as you can see, the transaction has been completed. It took me a while. Uh, and it didn't take me. It took the bridging process a while. It was around five to seven minutes, but it's completed. Now I'm going to confirm delegation again. As you remember, I'm uh, delegating to myself, so I will need to be voting to get the benefits from staking the governance and, of course, the potential monad airdrop. If you don't want to be dealing with the voting, then delegate. I think that would be uh, the only reason why you could delegate to someone else. 
so they vote for you and then you you get those benefits without having to do an extra effort um, so i'm going to click on confirm my delegation and um, actually just click add w to your wallet so you can see that token on your metamask remember uh, ethereum will not show you those tokens immediately or automatically you need to add those to your wallet so now i just click there and i'm going to confirm delegation and um yeah so i'm going to be uh, charge a little bit of gas to do this i read and agreed to the tally terms of service if you're wondering what those say i invite you to read them i almost never read those um but um it might be worth your time to read those so i'm just going to go ahead and stake for governance and uh, use free gas to stake okay I'm going to be charged no gas fees of course on base the gas fees are ridiculously low so i'm saving like a cent of a dollar because they're uh, paying for this i'm going to sign on my metamask wallet and then in a moment i will have staked and delegated this tokens so what's next um you can actually create your profile up your upload your picture and do a little bit more uh, stuff around tally but i don't know if it's worth uh it, unless you're going to be spending a lot of time in this website what i did is i created a profile for startup central and of course i'm going to be making sure i do vote every time there's a vote required so if this is something you're interested in you can actually delegate to my profile uh, of course, by delegating, you're not assigning me property or not, not me or not anyone else of your tokens. All you have to do or all you're doing is you're uh, giving one, someone else the chance to vote for you. And then as I was explaining before, you get the benefits of that happening. So that's in general, guys. I'm going to place the link of all of this in the description of the video as per usual. Uh, remember, guys, if you do this, you might be getting uh, an airdrop for Monet and an additional airdrop for Wormhole. And uh, the least that you can expect to happen by doing this is the price of your W going up. The more people that stake, the more scarce that this token will gonna be, is going to be. And then the more the price will go up. Uh, that's it for this video. I hope you get both airdrops. I'm surely hoping that for myself and I hope to see you in the next video. For now, like this video if you liked it, if you found it useful and subscribe to Startup Central to get more information about how to make money and tokens and crypto in the blockchain industry. See you in the next video. Bye bye now.